Homicide victims were honored today in Whittier. It's an annual event held during Crime Victims Rights Week. CBS 2's Adriana Weingold spoke to family members who will never get over the loss of their loved ones. Anna Estevez broke down in tears as she spoke about her son, Aura. The five-year-old was murdered by his father, suffocated in the back seat of his car after a trip to Disneyland. Now Estevez is fighting for justice for her son. I miss my son every day, every second. And every morning when I wake up and open my eyes, I hope and wish that all of this was just a really bad dream. Estevez spoke in front of families who lost loved ones to unimaginable crimes. Natalia Jackson is just nine years old, one of the youngest advocates at the Justice for Homicide Victims Memorial. She lost her father in 2013 when he was shot during a robbery at the family's cell phone store in Van Nuys. I know that he will always watch over me, so I, I do have to stay strong. Hundreds of posters lined the grounds of Rose Hill Memorial Park. Posters of people whose lives were cut short by violence. Jacqueline Jackson lost her son when he was only 14 years old. He was riding a bicycle when he was shot by someone in a passing car. Her son's murder is still unsolved. Uh, the, the biggest question is why? I mean, it can't, it can't bring my son back, but I would like to know why. For some of the mothers we spoke with, it's been decades since their children were murdered. For others, like Estevez, it's been just a year. But for all of the loved ones, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, one thing is certain, they will never stop fighting for justice. In Whittier, Adriana Weingold, CBS 2 News.